Hi guys, it's Marianne here from Snap Revise to give you my five top tips for revising for GCSE Chemistry. Firstly, you'll need to look at the GCSE as a whole to get an idea of what you're up against. Get a copy of the specification for your exam and understand what exams you'll have and what topics will be covered on each. This is a great chance to identify both what you need to know, but also what you don't need to know. Sometimes extra bits might have been covered in a textbook or in class. Highlight the specification in three colours to show things you're confident in, things that need work, and things that you don't know or have never seen. This last category should be your first priority, especially if you don't have any notes yet. My second tip is to tackle topics at the right time. Some things you've covered will be more complicated than others, and there'll be parts that are more understanding-based, whereas other bits will require more learning. Tackle the heavier topics when you're freshest. This might be in the morning or whatever time of day that you revise best. This will help you not to get demotivated. These topics are also going to be the ones that you're going to need to come back to, so make concise notes and read them whenever you can. Revis revisiting things little and often during dead time, like waiting for the bus, will help you them sink into your long-term memory. Save the shorter topics for when you're tired. If you make a list, when you feel your energy dipping towards the end of the day, just refresh a shorter or easier topic before calling it a day. As I've learned when thinking about how to explain some of the more difficult concepts in GCSE chemistry, the best way to test whether you understand something is to try and explain it to someone else. And this is my third top tip when revising. This works well if it's someone else who's revising for the same exam as you, as they can add things or question anything that they're not sure about. But also, explaining what you've been learning to your granddad who hasn't done science since he was 15 will make sure you get the basics and how to explain things clearly. My fourth top tip is to do pass papers at the right time. Everyone's heard that pass papers are the best way to ensure a good grade, and attempting a question definitely is the best way to test if you've got it. But looking at pass papers before you've started revising is scary. You'll end up feeling like you don't know anything, and this panic isn't productive. Instead, have a look at the sort of questions that are asked as you finish each topic in class. When a topic is fresh in your mind, you'll be able to see anything you might have missed or things that you might not have understood. And finish off your revision with some time dedicated to doing as many past papers as possible. Find out how many are available for your specification though before you start revising so that you don't run out. Finally, when I'm revising, I find everything takes longer than I think it's going to. So try and stick to a plan, but also remember to keep updating it as you go. My final top tip for revising is try and avoid cramming facts the night before or on the morning of the exam. This is easier said than done, but a good night's sleep will serve you well, especially as lots of subjects contain problem solving questions, which might carry a lot of marks. And these are so much easier when you're well rested. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are looking for an amazing GCSE chemistry resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the Stat Revised smiley face and together let's make GCSE chemistry a walk in the park.